one week in the 2K in this trouble in paradise. A lot of people are having trouble with a lot of things. Uh, we got badges not working. We have badges working a little too well. We've got people asking questions about the first event that's coming up. I've got all the answers for you right after this. Do you guys like my voice? Because if you like the voice and you like the video, please like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it after this. Let's try to push this video to over a thousand likes in the first 24 hours, and I'll drop the first Raging with Randoms immediately after that happens. Other than that, I need you to like the video and subscribe for more daily 2K content because we drop the 2K heat every day of the week. And other than that, man, YouTube ties likes to your video getting seen. If you want the video to get seen, you want the channel to grow, we're trying to make that 100K grind. Been grinding for 10 years on YouTube, still hadn't hit 100K. It must be because I suck. But if you guys like the video, we can get out there. And now, without further ado, let's get right into it. Leo! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. That was pretty fun right there, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like <laughs> the radio voice is crazy, man. I wonder how those dudes that how those dudes do it that have the radio voice. Like they just do that a hundred a hundred miles an hour all the time, 100% of the time. I don't know, man. They must need some throat lodges and stuff like that in a world where people are. Anyway, man, that ain't what y'all came here for, man. Look, NBA 2K21, it's been a pretty good release up to this point. There are some things that need tweaking with the game. Some badges don't work. Some badges work too well. In this game, you're going to see that Heart Crusher works entirely too well. We, I mean, I'm not gonna point it out, but just look. You're gonna see a guy get a ball stole from him and somebody's gonna get their shot blocked and they're gonna go completely cold. You're also gonna see another thing that's happening way too much in 2K where centers are getting way too comfortable in the paint. This is the reason that we feel like a little change needs to happen. To me, I don't care what they do. Centers can sit in the paint all day. You're going to see what I do to centers that sit in the paint all day. I have ways to deal with it. A lot of people don't, but I do. But first order of business, my boy Shakedown says, that look when you realize playmakers, a play, the playmaker is useless uh, because NBA 2K shipped without ankle breaker and no one, uh, no one in on in NBA 2K noticed. And then your boy uh, LD2K comes back and he says ankle breakers will be addressed I, in the next patch. I'm told keep that look, uh, keep that look though. And he's laughing emoji. And then you know he uh, shakedown comes back and he says uh, shakedown comes back and says. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a new look when I finally drop someone out here. And then you see, hey, LD2K, you know, with the, uh, he, you know, he got the tape up there. And then it's young Swan Swan replying, yo, you the goat. Ankle Breaker definitely gotta be in, a video, in the video game where people play at the park. And he's absolutely right. If you don't have Ankle Breaker in this video game and we're playing in the park, man, it makes it really tough to play just because, like, Everybody else is getting rewarded. I have my glass cleaner take over. I see that all the time. Uh, you got the shooters. Obviously, the shooters are shooting. Um, the dribblers, that's the only thing they have. Dribblers can't really hit mid ranges. They can't really hit threes. So, like, what else do they have? They, they have to, if, if we're going to make the game this meta and this limited and all the builds are that limited, then we have to have all the badges working properly and fine tune. Like I said, we're gonna have to fine tune a lot of the badges. We're definitely going to have to fine tune, um, maybe difficult shots needs a, fine, needs a little fine tuning maybe, and uh, you know, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, there's some things that need to be fine tuned, but Ankle Breaker definitely needs to be fine tuned. It needs to be viable in a game where the only thing you can do, like like if you're, if you're a slashing playmaker or a playmaker period or what have you, the only thing that you got when you turn your when you turn your takeover on is sometimes you can drop somebody and maybe you can pull a mid range you should be able to shoot threes but right now the only thing you can do is like you can't even drop somebody to make the defense commit to you so you can kick it out for your guy to get a good shot like people are just running up to you and playing regular defense when you got when you have that that um that takeover on they're not respecting it and that's, that's just not right because a lot of other people even though a lot of other people are having some issues, you know, you know, here and there with the game, with their takeovers. 
uh, rim protector too. And, and look right there. Hold up. Okay, we got a block, so you don't see Heart Crusher yet. But even though a lot of people are having trouble with their with their takeovers, it just feels like we've got to do something to help the playmakers out. Because I need the playmaker to pass me the ball. He shouldn't just be a, a walking dimer or a walking uh, walking floor general or something like that to help me hit shots. He should be a viable player that can break. A playmaker literally is supposed to break down the defense just like man did and then kick it to me. Or he should be able to go to the rim right there. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know what else, you know, like without ankle breaker, I'm not saying ankle breakers need to be need to happen as frequently. But when you have your takeover and you can't break an ankle, it's a little discouraging. I, I get it. Like, it would be a shooter that couldn't shoot or, or a dunk, a slasher that couldn't dunk. But I mean, I, obviously, I don't have that problem. But, you know, it is what it is. Up next. 2K support confirms boot camp max will be 75 overall and not 65 overall. This is something that a lot of people were worried about the other day. They were wondering, you know, I think somebody had said it was going to be 65 overall. And, um, and uh, you know, we, we, we were used to it last year being 75 overall. But somebody asked 2K support and 2K support actually uh, said there and said, Hi there, Enrique. Uh, this is doing my English voice. Hello there, Enrique. Max cap for boot camp will be 75 overall. So they're going to be 75 overall. 75 overall will be the max cap with that. And uh, I think that that's, that, that's fine. It, it is what it was last year. Uh, we're going to have a chance to, and you see guys going cold because I got on Heart Crusher and got the block and a steal. So it's really over for them. And the guy that I did, you know, it, it is what it is. What do y'all think about Heart Crusher? We're going to transition right into that because, like we said, we, we already knew what boot camp was. Boot camp is supposed to be 75 overall. People that don't have a whole lot of money uh, don't want to, you know, they can't really spend a whole lot of VC. They can't put a lot of money into the game. They want to give them an event. But we already know that people are going to crash the event. Not me, but a lot of people are going to crash the event because they want those unlimited boosts and things like that. And now uh, y'all might be wondering, you know, like, like I said, Heart Crusher being in the game, what do we think? What, what do y'all think about Heart Crusher? Do y'all think it's too strong? Do you think it's not strong enough? I think it's entirely too strong. It's overpowered. Like I said, I put it on for this one game, and you saw we got a block and a steal, and two out of three people are cold. The other guy was cold, um, but he hit a layup or something like that on me just a second ago. But it's just crazy the fact that this badge is this strong. Do I think that it should take your takeover down? Yes, but it shouldn't just drop you to nothingness and make you be cold, my boy. You got to come out that paint, man. Look, man, this is something we're putting y'all on notice, man. My center is different. This guy's different, man. I can dunk. Like, one dude was like, yo, he can dunk the ball. He can shoot fades. He can shoot threes. He can, he like, that dude can do everything, man. What's going on? What kind of build is that? I'm like, bro, this dude can really do everything. Now, wait till I start hitting people with the fades and stuff like that. It's really going to be crazy. But... All saying all that to say this, one of the bad, like Heart Crusher got to be toned down. It's already been outlawed in a lot of leagues and WR and all those other ones until they're like, until we get a good handle on this thing, we're going to have to, you know, they, we've banned the use of Heart Crusher and they've said that in, in leagues across the, you know, in tweets across different leagues, uh, WR, Famous Enough, all those guys, because the badge is just entirely too powerful. Now me, I don't know how it's really gonna affect you in the wreck. If you guys have used it in the wreck, is it really, really that bad in the wreck? Or is it just like, like, cause like I heard in the wreck that if you block somebody's shot or you get a steal or something like that, then three out of four people or three or five people are gonna go cold. And that's crazy. I mean, three to five people are gonna go cold. That's crazy to me that you have a badge in the game that's that insanely powerful that can just, just it can almost nullify the other team. That's insane to me, especially people that didn't even have anything to do with the play. I think there's like, what, it, what does it do? It makes the person that passed the ball as well as the person that got blocked go cold or the person that, that, that turned the ball over goes cold and the person that passed it to him go cold and then it's something else. Like, it's crazy to me, man. Like, I threw the ball to you hoping that you would make a good decision. I didn't think that you were going to, um, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think you were going to turn it. Well, how are you charging me? For turning the ball over and as y'all see man i went almost perfect that game right there let's go back to it almost perfect i would have gone perfect if i hadn't tried to shoot that dumb ass fade man but you know hey look man shoot or shoot man this is what we gonna do you want this shirt it's in the store man and uh if you ordered merch it's, it's already out so y'all should be seeing your merch in the next couple of days you know how usps do anyway man that's all i got for y'all today but i do have one question for you before we go people are complaining about the play shots not because they're hitting shots, but because it feels like there's no penalty for having a play shot. Play shots are playing defense on one through fives. 
Like I've seen like man man might try to go to the rim, play shots just push him out the way. So we got play shots playing defense. We got play shots that can hit shots. They can dribble. They can pretty much do anything. Can somebody, I, I'm, this is a serious question. This is not me complaining or anything. What, what, what would you say? Um, What weakness does, does a play shot have? I don't know what their weakness is. It's crazy to me. Like I said, I, I, I just don't, I don't get it, man. I don't, I don't know what weakness they have. Do they have a weakness? Is their weakness, I mean, cause they can go to the hole and dunk too. And they can make layups if you can use the shot stick. So it's crazy to me that, that it's like a demigod build really. And I think that's why people are upset because they really seem to have no weakness. Um, and people say ratings should count, but they have low steel, low lateral quickness, low, low, low dunking, low layups, and they're still able to do those things. While other bills, we got high all of that, and we can we do it at the same rate as them. But we have similar shooting, and it seems like shooting is the is the area that they decided to crack down on. I think that's where the big outcry is coming from. If play shots were like sharps in 2K17, where the only thing they could do was shoot, then I don't think anybody would really be mad or like, you know, 2K18 or anything, but like they, they can do entirely too much. And a lot of that might just be due to the online latency and stuff too, because if you 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 can't stay in front of anybody online, dribbling is crazy. And uh, the behind the back still in the game. And I think a lot of people don't know how many issues are in the game because everybody's so laser focused on shooting, but we got to keep everything in perspective. Hopefully we can get a lot of this stuff done in the very first patch. To where we don't have to have a lot of patches because i'm going to actually do a video tomorrow and we're going to talk about the patch schedule and uh see if they're going to adhere to that and you know but are they going to make as many patches this year because of next gen are they going to cut them in half are we just going to get one patch before next gen because we know that's dropping november 10th like what are we going to get i don't know man but we'll see what happens with this ladies and gentlemen hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you like the video like the video subscribe for more daily 2k content let's get this video to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours and we will be dropping raging with randoms and other than that i'm gonna holler at you guys next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ go speak then commence it don't make cash and it don't make sense because we can't pay rent with no one's opinion so in that sense i never value your two cents hey darn please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn because i ain't buying i'm only five eight that's fine nigga i can give a hard transplant to a giant i ain't lying god speak god speak, god speak. We good.